Luke Thomas for MMA Fighting here in Atlanta, Georgia at the pre-fight workouts next to UFC welterweight contender Rory McDonald. Uh, Rory, it's been asked a lot, but I, of course I have to go through the motions here. Shea Mills, um, now that it's closer to fight time, I see you keep, you keep looking him down. Uh, uh, you're intensely focused, even despite the fact that he's not a top contender. Uh, he may not be in the media's eyes, but you know, in my eyes, he's a dangerous fighter. And I'm taking him very seriously, whether uh, you know, he never heard of a guy before or if uh, he's in the spotlight. Doesn't matter. I take him just as serious. Did you watch tape on him? I see you're giving him the, uh, the your ice grilling him over here, but yeah, I didn't study him too much. You know, I'm more training myself. You know. Do you typically not watch tape, or do you leave that to the coaches? I leave it to the coaches. Uh, it's my style is to follow um, my my coach's opinion. Uh, if I if I do studying, you know, my mind runs away and. You know, I want to do a certain thing. And, you know, I think my coaches have best interest and more experience in uh, proper technique and stuff like that. So what do you know about Shea Mills? He's a good striker, a dangerous fighter. That's it. That's all he's got? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say that's all he's got. He's dangerous, man. He's in the UFC. You know, I take him super serious. I, I just, all I'm saying is I focus on myself and getting myself prepared to be at my best. Do you believe the, let's say you win, do you believe the complexion of the win? In other words, if it's super dominant, or maybe it's just a decision or whatever the case, but do you believe the way in which you win will determine what kind of fight you get next? 100%. Uh, UFC's performance-based. If you fight a top guy and have a, a terrible performance, boring, no one wants to see you again. If you fight a guy no one's ever heard of but you put on a great show, they're going to want to see you again. So, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go out there, fight my fight, put on an exciting show like I always do. That's the plan. Talk to me about the turn mentally for you, or maybe in your career after the Condit fight. A fight you were dominating ultimately came on the losing end, but really been on a tear since then. What, what, what happened to you after the fight that made these kinds of adjustments in your life? Uh, yeah, I felt like I need to uh, make changes in my training and a new outlook on, on, uh, you know, my, from my coaches. Because I only had the one coach before. And, you know, I still, he's still around, my coach David Lee, but I needed to expand with uh, Faraz and his outlook and kind of put the two together and you know rather than just having one outlook on martial arts you know and staying sort of stagnant not evolving into something great so uh, and the training partners um, in Montreal so after the Carlos fight I felt like I needed to take the next step which is move it was hard but it worked out for the best. Your relationship with Faraz Zahabi he is a trainer to what extent is he a mentor right does he get you're a young guy Presumably you lean on the more experienced men in your life for some kind of advice and direction. Is that a fair characterization of your relationship with him? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, he's a very intelligent guy, and I looked up, look up to him a lot. Um, not just uh, as far as fighting, too, and lifestyle. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's a very intelligent guy that I learn from day in and day out. It, can the same be said for George St. Pierre? Do you have a mentorship relationship with him as well? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, more of a you know, friendship and training partner because, you know, he doesn't, we don't talk about his vice as much, um, but, uh, you know, training and technique for sure. You know, he, he's, uh, he's, I got a lot to learn from that guy. All right, best of luck to you on Saturday Night, Rory. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys.